Hello and welcome to a very short update video on Spark AR. Um, don't know why it's glitching out at the moment, so let me just see if I can resolve that. So this is just a little update to basically talk about some changes that have recently happened in version 66. Um, one of the changes should not be this glitching effect, but hey ho, it seems to be uh, happening on my machine for some reason. So I've just brought in a object from the uh, asset store. So since last time I did a video on Spark AR using the Windows version, you'll now notice we've got this new extra option down here, which is called library. And if I click on that, this brings up our Spark AR library, which is linked to Sketchfab. So we can now bring in 3D objects from there if you wanted to. Um, and then it will import it into our asset scene. If I have no assets in my project, so let me just delete this book for a second, you now have this new message here that says there are no assets in this project. So I'm just going to quickly bring something back in. So I'll bring in the, uh, the book I've just had in there before. There we go. And then drag that back onto my plane tracker. And just scale this down for a second. So one of the biggest changes that has uh, impacted the way that this uh, version of Spark AR works is they made a change to the way that you now move around and pan the scene. So as before you used to be able to right mouse button and move your mouse around to pan and same with the left mouse button, that no longer works. They've now gone with an approach more similar to other 3D modeling programs. So now on Windows you'd hold control and left mouse button to pan around and alt and left mouse button to pan. So control and mouse is to orbit, alt and left mouse is to pan. Zoom is the same with the middle mouse button, slash scroll wheel. So that's uh, the same. Um, the preview window should still be the same as it was before, which it is. So I can still pan around WASD with my scene to change my preview. Although again, you can sort of see I'm having some technical difficulties with Spark AR at the moment. If we go back to edit uh, project edit properties, you still notice the capabilities are still there. And if I go to add, we can still add in instructions and um, gesture controls, etc., etc. So largely, it's largely the same. Uh, the only two real Big differences, like I just sort of earlier said, is we now have this library option within the Windows build, and you now use Control and left mouse button to orbit, and Alt and left mouse button to pan. So I believe that this change will also be impacting the Mac build. So bear that in mind. Uh, however, with a Mac, it will be Option rather than Alt uh, for the pan. So thank you for watching and I hope to bring some more Spark AR tutorial videos in the very near future. Goodbye.